Okay, so hi, trainer Kyle here. I'm gonna be showing some exercises sitting down with uh, Dr. Pepper can. All right, so you can use a can of soda, water bottle, what do you have available to use as a weight? So, and the first exercise, what you're gonna do is just reach out, grab onto the soda can or weight, whatever you have, and lift it up and put it down and put it back. And we'll reach out, lift up, and put it back. Yeah. And then to uh, progress from that previous video, you're going to lift up, bring the soda in, bring it out, and set it down. Right. After that, what you're going to do is lift up, bring it in, and bring it out. All right. Do a few reps on that side, lift up, bring it in, bring it out, and then we'll go with the other side. Okay. Good. So what I want you to try to do is have the your arm supported. All right, so far I'm just gonna rest on the table or something, and you're just gonna do like a little wrist curl. All right, with the weight, you don't have to use the weight if you don't want to, but if you have that resistance, you're more than welcome to kind of get that wrist flexion in there. And then to translate to extension, you can just flip it on over just like so. Okay. Okay. Next one I want you to do is just kind of squeeze the soda can as hard as you can, relax and squeeze. You can do this with soda can, a tennis ball if you have it, or what you can even do is a water bottle too. All right, just squeeze as hard as you can, and we'll go on to the other side too. What you're gonna do is gonna take that soda can. You can hold it in your hand too with this. Just gonna do a regular bicep curl. All right, just curl it up. Palm is up to initiate that nice elbow flexion. And then what you can do is even point it up like so. All right, just like if you were to drink a water bottle or a can of beer. Some lateral trunk flexion. So all we're gonna do is you're gonna have your hands out to the side for safety. You're just gonna go side to side. All right, go to whatever's comfortable that you can, can can go to without falling over. Now, of course, whenever you do this, you want to make sure somebody's with you to be able to spot. Okay. All right, once you feel more comfortable with that, starting to widen out your hands, and what you can do is kind of go to the side, and you can kind of bend your elbow and kind of give a little press up from there. You can press up. That way you're getting a little bit more tricep and push muscles involved, but still working those side obliques. Okay. Still sitting, again, always try to have a spotter with you at all times. You're just gonna lean forward, almost think about trying to have your hands reach to the ground and come back up using those nice little spinal erectors um, and then just sitting up nice and tall, not being so rounded in the shoulders, so trying to keep our chest up. Leaning forward and coming back. All right, we can also do this with our hands on the edge of the uh, couch, chair, whatever we can do, initiate a little push. Okay, just like so. All right, so next we're gonna go to some standing exercises. So first thing, we'll start from the same position and we'll stand up, all right? Again, always make sure there's a spotter with you. And then from here, all I wanna do is just kind of lift our right hand up. We can even lift it from the hand, uh, lift it from the table. If we feel good with that, we can reach up, bring it down, go other hand, reach up, just like so. All right, working on a nice, good little balance, making sure we're not going all over the place. Next to go from there, we can add a little resistance too with that little reach up. So we can take the can of soda, reach up, put it down, grab it with the other hand, reach up, transferring just like so. All right, always trying to make sure for right now that we have one hand on the table, but if we get feel good with that, then we can start to bring it out, boom, let it rest, right back up. Okay, ready to go again? Mm -hmm. All right, next what we can do is start a little sidewalk. So still having both hands on the counter, we can step and come back in. Can you see my foot? Step and back in. Do five with the left and then we can even do five with the right. Okay, start. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, so to progress from that, now we're gonna actually take some steps. So we'll step out, step in. Step out, step in. You can go around the table to kind of work to it. All we can do is just go from a straight line. And then obviously go a few steps out to the side and then step back in. All right. Again, always making sure we have a spotter with us at all times. Okay. All right. So next we're going to do like a little squat to a stand, all right? Obviously a squat doesn't have to be all the way down to a chair. We can kind of work our way to it. So we can just start with a little knee bend and then stand on up. A little knee bend and stand up. All right. Making sure we have firm grasp on the counter or something that we can hold on to, whether it be a bar um, and also having a spotter. All right. And once we feel good with that, we can start to get a little bit lower and then right back up. Not only are we making sure that we're standing up nice and tall, but we're making sure that each leg is pushing with the same amount of force. 
So we're not trying to push too much to the left and come up to the left. We're trying to make sure we go straight up. Okay. The one standing is just kind of working on that posture. So we're just making sure that we're not going to be rounded too much in the shoulders. We're trying to be nice and straight and also not really just throwing that chest up as high as we can. Just kind of squeezing the shoulder blades back. How we can do that is just think about like a row. Just kind of bringing about the elbows back, just like so. So we can even do that as an exercise. So we can have our hands set right here. Come back, squeeze, and down. Come back, squeeze, just like so. All right, that'll help work some balance too because we're having our hands off the counter, but we're also engaging those back muscles, just like so.